Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Normally. Hoping for a similar situation here at the end of their draft. They're also running out of time. Five seconds remaining. Where are we going, VP? It's going to be it CK. All right. Okay. Doing everything in the bottle. Now he's turning uh -oh. back onto Mickey, but Mickey is out of mana. He doesn't have access to the Avalanche. Oh, no. He's going to end up dying. Won't reach the water rune. One more right click is going to be the first blood. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. He gets not just the kill. He's going to refill the water rune. Has some changes to the spells. And now, of course, when you stack up the raises, turn rate slow, movement speed slow. I mean, you could see it there. Yeah. It's deadly. You don't get to run away anymore. Top lane, Dakota, in a bit of trouble. He's in a little bit of trouble. And once Guess again, when I say trouble, trouble, I mean dead. Dead. <laughs> uh, enjoying life. Mid lane. We actually have a rotation coming in onto GPK. He's trying to make the dive aggressively onto Mickey. He gets tossed back. Nice toss. Not in range of the tower just yet, but there's going to come the charge onto GPK. Can he get himself out of here in time? He has access to razors very, very soon, but he decides not to go in for the charge through again. Magic missile. That no. crit nearly got the better from as Mickey is here. I guess make the first big rotation of the map here. This is actually interesting because so far from what we've seen today, most of the movements middle haven't been coming until much later in the game. China's surround him. Yamich will he be able to find the impale? He does. Hakoda looking for the magic missile. It does come out. GPK, does he have the burst? Couple more right clicks is all they need. He sticks up. Mike still alive. Here comes a charge from Boxy onto GPK. Nice they finally get the kill, but Boxy now body blocking the SF, preventing him escaping. Hakoda throws in the magic missile. GPK on the high ground right now. He needs to get out of here. Sticks up. He's getting hit up by Insania. We'll finally end up taking a tumble. And Matsu's easing against smoke eggs like this. Gets himself out of trouble. Unfortunately, the Hakoda will not be able to do the same. Gets charged in too. Magic missile will be there, but Mika comes in with the surge and the avalanche. There's no way this Venge can escape this. Uh, just going to try and waste their time a little bit. We'll end up dying still. But nonetheless, that's still four heroes that you commit to try and bring down Hakoda in the five position. I Fingers on the bulldoze there, applying himself with some side of resistance. Mid lane charge. GPK gets connected on two. Ramses comes in, gets off the Phantasm. It's going to be the first wall of replica of the game with the vacuum onto GPK. But they will just happily try and destroy these blocks. He finds the ultimate onto GPK, but he still gets Avalanche in. They the really want the SF, nice but chrono. they're still not able to find him. Matu puts him in the bubble, and that finally will lead into the kill on the SF. VP did their utmost best to try and stop that from happening, but it just wasn't good enough. And now they're going to dive onto Yamich as well. Behind the tier 1 tower, he ends up losing his life. The spawn spiralings to just distract him. He's gone. He's fine. Maybe look at Ramses. Cool. Ramses is being charged into, but look at Yamich with the impale, preventing any approach into Ramses. Ramses was thinking about coming back for the haste rune, but decides that his life is more important. But he might still end up dead. Hakoda forced to swap him back into the mid lane just to create more space for the CK. And will commit his own life in the process. Erstwhile, top lane, GPK, he's in danger here. Matu doesn't have the bubble, but they do have the vision. Hakoda is charging in, but here comes Ramses! Throwing in the damage onto the Faceless Void, killing him just at the very end of the Mask of Madness duration. GPK, though, will still end up dead as Boxy and Zai right on top of him. Yesterday when we saw this... Um, it was Team Secret versus Vici Gaming Game 2, I think, where we had the Faceless Void playing into SF and CK. I think that was exactly mm -hmm. what Vici played. And in that game, they didn't have a Crimson Guard buy. And I think we spoke about it, like the lack of Crimson Guard or yeah. any kind of way to mitigate this damage makes the game much harder. But this time, they have it available already as Yamich dies inside the river right next to Ramses. And Ramses doesn't actually have much allies nearby him. Akoda does have access to the swap, but they have ways to chase him. As GPK, though, comes in, able to get the kill on the kill onto the Spirit Breaker. Matu forced to run away from the bubble, given that the Requiem was going to fear him out. But now as he jumps onto the high ground, how's the rest of this fight going to pan out? Wall dropped down by Zai nice and the toss. River. They get the avalanche toss coming in from Mike. Two heroes connected onto you. And the wall illusions will help getting the kill. GPK attempting to escape, but he knows he's gone. He knows they have him dead to right. Where did he get all this farm? What's Free happening? Free farming, kills, iron shells, 11 assists. <sighs> and they just keep getting kills. Yeah, it doesn't found stop. Hakoda, and I think Ramses is in a little bit of danger as well. Nice impale from Yamich. Boxy is a bit low. There's a buyback from Hakoda. He comes back into the fray. Ramsey's already dropped down to less than half HP. Needs to watch himself in this situation. And like you say, they just don't stop. They just keep rolling ages still for another two minutes. It's very, very dangerous. VP do not want to fight. Team Liquid recognize they don't want to fight, but we do. 
So they now smoke up. GPK, does he have a code idea by? He does, but Jamage won't be so lucky. He already ended up with a death onto him. Ramses goes in nice with the off. ultimate, and there's the bubble. Hakoda will get the swap out, but they have the vision onto GPK as they're coming in with Boxy as well. In the meantime, though, Ramses turning things around onto Zai, and with these illusions, able to kill him. GPK dies near the tier 2 tower, though, so they've gotten the primary target, but we'll see if Ramses can try and clean this one up. Boxy, fairly low on HP, gets off the ultimate, though, with a nether strike onto the CK, dragging the rest of VP further away from his own squad. He doesn't want them to play down here on the south, but now Mike jumps in on the north. Avalanche toss onto Ramses. Not enough damage to really threaten him just yet, but Matu is delivering that damage. Matu will finally die. That's the first life committed from him. Once he comes back, he's waiting for Mike to deliver him a juicy target. Yamich looks like he might be the one that will give up his life as a sacrifice, but Spy Carapace is all too good. Instead, it's DM. They go for the easier target. Not every day that the spider is the easiest one to kill, but they haven't been able to kill him just yet. DM. Wraith packed the full pipe of insight, also sitting with the dragon scale as well. They're looking okay, for a play right now, so Chrono is down. Found Matu. This is actually a pretty big deal, but That's no, they don't get off the chain disabled. So he gets off his BKB, and now here's the back wall. Hakoda pulled back into it. He's the first casualty of this fight. Ramses will be able to kill Zai, though, but Boxy coming in for some revenge. Nether strike onto GPK. He's not allowed to escape the fight, so he's dead as well. Mike on another streak ramses at least gets the one revenge kill onto insania as well turning this into a three for two dm trying to give up his own life for the cause but they're trying to ignore him and jump onto ramses instead mickey sticking with the spider as ramses surrounded by the void and the spirit breaker and they've broken his life his own spirit they get the kill oh. mickey no avalanche they he gets the toss At the very last second dm not allowed to escape this fight the question is, can they kill him? They've tried so many times in the past. He's gotten zero deaths, but Matu finally makes it one, and they call GG. VP, no, it's over. VP. Reserve time, so I want to see what they go for. Magnus. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, really okay. Really we don't have prediction in the battle pass, but we'll see how this game goes as they are now smoked up. Whilst they're doing so, let's get our predictions out of the way. Total blinks at 25. Uh, two. I think that's fair. I don't know. It's either two or three. As oh god, Boxy, Hello, Mr. Boxy, very very dead. Well, who's getting the nice first blood? They're giving it to GPK. Isn't this the third game in the last two days where we've seen Alina get her first blood in this mid lane? <laughs> Should be fine. And the longer time goes on, the more it does feel like his laning phase gets better and better. Actually, catches the LSA onto Mika. Will force him to retreat pretty deep in. Is he gonna chase for this? He is. He's very fire. Oh yeah, my! Yeah. And again, like you say. Second game in a row. GPK gonna go for a little trade here. Make sure he spends his gold. Gonna come back to the lane ASAP when he comes back. This is pretty nice because had he not done this, I think when Mickey can then throw the spells out uh, as he wants to, as now we have a little bit of a play on these water rooms. Yamic came to join GPK here as Insania yeah, was scouting the top water rune, but it looks like he's gonna be giving away a kill. Yamic has access to the ice shards, not even gonna need them as they are able to bring it down. But he made sure that Delina didn't get the rune. DP coming around mid, trying to help Delina. Oh, middle Mika. though. She eats no a Laguna Blade. Mika is in some danger. Gets off a Sonic Wave though, onto two. GPK is suddenly the one that's fallen so low. Boxy comes in with the Avalanche. Who are they tossing back? Insania gets an incredible three hero dual breath. And they will be able oh, to kill all three boy. of them. A double kill for the Jakuro. Three heroes brought down. Mika is still alive at the end of it. And a 4-2, they need to. Again, take a deep breath and, you know, get back into this game properly as bottom. We're gonna see if they're gonna find a kill for Ramses this time around as Zai is gonna be the priority target. They don't have the damage just yet. Zai gets slims back. They finally stun him up. GKK will show up and he's the one that's gonna provide the damage with the Sonic Wave! Coming in from Miki as he's also made a rotation. They haven't even been able to kill Zai just yet. Lasso going out onto Matumba Man. Miki getting zoned back by GPK. GPK won't be allowed to get the kill because the infest from Matu ensures that Miki has the HP. And now Boxy looking towards DM deeper in the lane. They've caught him. They've surrounded him. They've corralled him. And they're certainly going to kill him. And when DM falls, he's going to be giving away another kill towards the side of Team Liquid. On the bright side though, this is trying to do. Yeah. The middle lane, Boxy will find himself a nice little target here as they toss back GPK towards Mickey. Mickey will have to retreat from this because GPK got off the Laguna and the LSA. Ramses also shows up, had the lingering damage coming in from the Phantasm Illusions and a DD, so utilizes them both to kill Boxy. I mean, they'll finally get the on course now. 
Uh, RP. Zai. Ooh, Zai catching two heroes with the RP. Are you kidding me? Zai! Zai, it's only a game, my friend. Snowball attempt for Yamish to try and stay alive. And the attempt will be denied by Zai again. Him and the crew end up getting that kill as well. But they don't have access to the RP. Uh, do they want to try for this? DM has his own Tumblr toy, able to get forward. Finding Storm. Zai. Static Storm will be there. Matu TP it into Infest. it. But yet again, the Infest plays come in. Not going to be able to keep him alive, but it will spend a lot of time with GPK trying to kill the Magnus. So he's not prepared for that counterplay coming in from Team Liquid. Zai trades his life for the opposing mid laner. But as you've mentioned so many times, when you play Lina mid, Lina's the actual carry. So you've taken down their core. They're coming middle as well. They really want to dram these. They don't get you in time. But what a play. In the top side of the map, mid lane. The one to get caught instead will be Yamich, giving a killing spree towards Mike. Team Liquid playing some fair Dota. They're gonna Who's get gonna GPK. GPK is the one. He gets off a BKB though. Glimpse back. Matu. Here comes Zai jumping in. RP and Matu. They kill him through the BKB, Kezu. It doesn't matter to them. And now Ramsey's doing his best to try and run away. Sonic Wave pushes him back into the ice path, in fact. And they'll be able to isolate him away from his illusions. Kill him as well. Boxy is the one credited with that one. And that's going to be a tier 2 tower falling shortly thereafter. Kezu, this is this is something else. Whether they'll get away with it, I don't know. They will still take fight, the fight. Fight still happen. Boxy, looking like he wants to go in. Able to get in onto the Disruptor. In the meantime, RP went onto the Batrider. Sonic Wave does come across three heroes. There is a Lasso onto the Matumba Man, Lifestealer. And GPK He's turns up. onto him with the BKB and they are able to kill him. Ramsey is armlet toggling to victory as they are able to kill Zai. Ramsey does end up taking a tumble. GPK's first life is taken. Now they are trying to surround the stragglers in this fight. Yamich, he gets taken out as well. Glimpse back from Insania right next to Hakoda. The Ice Boxy Bot a new combo will soon. not help to protect him and they will be able to kill him. Boxy does have access to this new combo. He utilizes it to hold GPK in position, letting Mike get the cleanup. And now the only hero left to flee is Hakoda. He's been abandoned by DM. Mike gets a... Drop the Static Storm <laughs> on top of Nick so that Zyde cannot counterplay it. We will see them trying to reveal said Blink Dagger right now. As you said, they want to try and make this uh, play as soon as humanly possible. They are going to jump onto the Jakiro. Nice Hakoda Static Storm here, allowing them to kill Insania first. However, Ramdis oh, is no. very low. DM does get a lasso, but it's not going to help them too much. As they have now lost Hakoda. Ramsey's playing 1v1 versus Matumba Man as GPK ends up losing his life towards Mikke on the back end of the fight. And Team Liquid, despite them being the ones that are surprised by this one, you know, as he ends up dying here in this mid lane, Hakoda did get a glimpse back onto Zai. Zai does throw out the RP. There's going to be a Chaos Ball being thrown in. Another save coming in from Matu, but it's not going to be good enough. GPK there with the Deso hits, and they're finally able to bring down Zai. Buyback was there from oh, the Glimmer. So they want to chase forward. Glimmer Cape oh, was supposed to protect Matu, but they still have the vision. They glimpse him back into the LSA. Do they have the damage nice to static. kill him? Yes, they do. He's forced to buy a BKB, in fact. Insania drops an ice part to try and protect his allies as Boxy really wants Ramses. Gonna he get Ramses! So even though he dies, it's like, well worth it at the end of the day. Insania also about to take a tumble. But getting Ramses out of this, you pull that off. And now he's actually going top again. Boxy bringing in another passenger. Matu doesn't have a basher though. However, this BKB will not last forever. GPK needs to get out of this. He's been tossed back. He's been killed. Boxy is just on it today. As Matu able to trump down Yamich through his BKB. Thank you very much for buying the item, he thinks to himself. This is... Wow, okay. This is very, very disheartening that they can just jump you at any time. And now they've also jumped Ramses. He doesn't have his BKB just yet. He's a hundred gold he shy of getting this, Kezu. But now he's been reset even further away. That is just the saddest thing ever. They have to. Yeah, I, I, really, I really think that they do need to do it. That's mid looking for a glimpse onto Boxy. Okay, they get him, but I don't know about this Ooh. one. Nice static storm. Preventing Zai from throwing out the RP. And they should be able to kill him here. Unless Matu will be able to save him infest. through his own BKB. And indeed he does with the infest play. Suddenly Ramses has to turn around and run. They're able to chop down Hakoda. Ramses, can he juke Matu? No, he cannot. Here, deeper into the fight. DM also has his BKB. He's trying to TP himself away. But this time around, they have the Sonic Wave. And they will not allow him to escape. Yamich, nice snowball blink play. Deeper into the river. But Insania is there. Tumblr's way usage allows him to dodge the dual breath. So he's still alive for now. They pop drums though. They really want this kill. They will be able to find this chase. Boxy's on him with Mickey. And they give him a beyond godlike one that if it fails, you call GG. They know us. It's, up. A, it's the pub smoke. The go smoke one time, then let in. 
Let's see, they end up losing Yamich first and foremost. Matu pops out, chomps down Hakoda, and now they turn their attention back onto Ramses. He pops the BKB, but to what avail? Even Mike's right clicks are just way too much for him right now. And as he dies, north of the fight, we do see Zai. At the very least, he will fall to the right click damage of GPK. But now GPK no longer has a BKB, no longer has a life, and VP no longer have a say in this game as they call GG, throw in the towel, and grant Team Liquid the 2-0 victory and Grant Team Liquid. Right.